Good morning, everyone. Sistiana here. It's time for your daily tarot for today, December the 27th. Remember, it's a general reading for all signs. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever planet you might be watching for. And if you don't know those signs, you can check out a video link in the description where I take you through it step by step. Very easy process, and it doesn't cost you anything. And also, if you enjoy this type of content, please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share, follow, um, like it. Leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. And make sure you have your bell turned on so you're notified whenever I do upload new content. So let's get this started with Aries. Message for Aries for today, December 27th, please. For Aries. Knights of Cups. You're still partying, Aries, huh? The first is not here yet, and you're still partying. Well, Christmas is past. The ho the main holiday is right, and um, you're, you're still partying. The Queen of Discs, so it could be that you've received a raise of some sorts, a bonus, and you're like, okay, time to party it up, right? I just I'm gonna get this major partying energy for you, Aries. And you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could have Earth in your chart. But I just, I get this whole, oh, and then we got the Fool. Okay, so brand new beginnings for you, right? Underlying energy is the King of Cups. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, very emotional. I, I just get this whole sincerely partying energy for you here, Aries. Um, be careful not to overindulge because that could be a energy that you're dealing with. But I get very playful energy too. So just the partying energy is very strong. Um, new beginnings and this could be celebrations, work parties, that type of thing. Just be be cautious. Be cautious. Don't overdo it. Don't overindulge. Okay, Aries? I hope that makes sense. I hope that message helps. And thank you for watching. Taurus. Message for Taurus for today, December 27th, please. For Taurus. We got the Knight of Wands, chaos, things happening very fast. You're like, you're, you're wanting it to slow down, right? Then you have strength, could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo in your chart. And the Two of Wands, who are you needing to make a decision about something? The underlying energy is the lovers. So you could be dealing with the Gemini, or you could have Gemini in your chart. Um... I, for some of you, I feel like there is something moving in very quickly that is causing you to reevaluate yourself. Having this decision energy and the strength, it's like you're needing to know that you have the you have what it takes to about to get where you're needing to get at. You don't go looking for answers outside of yourself. I feel like it's all internal needing to meditate a bit and quiet your mind because I, I feel like things are just racing a little bit too much for you internally and needing to once you quiet your mind you'll be able to make that decision know that the courage and strength is within you you don't have to go looking for someone else to be happy for some of you for someone out there that's a, a message here for you is that you don't need this to be happy but and then some of you like this is where you find your solace this is where you find your 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 comfort right but I, I feel like this relationship is playing a big part on your decision making and is like don't look so much to your partner don't look so much to that relationship or lack thereof relationship don't look there towards look in yourself within for your um, whatever it is you need to do, find your answer with them, okay? I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Gemini. Message for Gemini for today, December 27th, please. Flying cards. Flying cards. 
we have the Queen of Disc dealing with an Earth sign as possible, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And my chair does not want to stay still. Okay. So I also get wisdom here. Wisdom, Gemini. Um, this person is very wise for you. This person is the person you would go to for your answers. Message for Gemini, please. Three of Cups. Okay. This person could have been someone within a family gathering or some type of social event that you've been to recently. And then we have Hierophant, which is the card for Taurus. So you could have Taurus in your chart or dealing with the Taurus. Underlying energy is the Death card. So you have that Scorpio energy. Or you could have Scorpio in your chart. Or a major ending, a major change, a major transformation has happened. And I, I feel like you have these ideas or this person, like I feel like this person is very important here for you, Gemini, this earth sign or this person of great wisdom, great wisdom. And it's like I, I feel this energy of having very lighthearted, very like, goofy even, just very silly energy. And, but you know this person's very wise. So you're watching and you're just waiting for that one little spark of uh, intuition to come out. This one little, this words to come out to really give you the energy, give you the, the spark of inspiration that you're, you're craving. And I, I feel like it's like you need to stop looking at others and really internalize your, your focus. Because I don't feel like this is going to be coming from someone else. This is going to come from you, from your higher self, from your spirit guides, from your spirit itself. Okay, Gemini, I hope that message makes sense. I hope that, make, I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Cancer. Message for Cancer. We have Hierophant. Cancer for today, December 27th, please. So dealing with a possible Taurus, or you could have Taurus in your chart. For Cancer, please. Three of Wands, decisions. Uh, you've made the decision already, right? And Lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Could have Gemini in your chart. Underlying energy is the star. The beautiful star dealing with an Aquarius. Or you could have Aquarius in your chart. Um, okay, so you decided yes. You decided yes. Or they decided yes. And now you're getting to move forward. Um, for some of you, it is a relationship situation kind of thing. And it's very important for you to remember your person next to you. Remember the person you have the soul connection with. I don't know who that message is for, but remember your soul connection, whoever that is. And, I mean, they said yes. You, you said yes. I, I don't know. But I get this whole yes, 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 like somebody proposed. And... Or you're going to propose, or they're going to propose, and you're going to say yes. I, I just, I get this whole yes energy. And it's very strong about it being a decision with a relationship. And the full moon, the full moon right now, Cancer, is in your sign. So very, very, very intuitive time for you. Maybe you're having the whole epiphany moments and saying yes. Saying yes to your intuition. Saying yes to your spirit guides. And allowing that download of energy, right? Okay, Cancer. I hope that makes sense. I hope that message helps. And thank you for watching. Leo. Message for Leo for today, December 27th, please. For Leo. The wheel, a wheel of fortune. Times are changing, Leo. And judgment. Ooh, something big's happening. We got flippers coming out left and right. Three of swords, three days, three weeks, three months. Three days to three weeks, Leo. 
underlying energy. Eight of Wands, communications. Whew. Okay, so some big changes based on energy that you've already put out there. Like you're reaping the rewards from something you've done or said. And it's happening in the next three days to three weeks. Nice energy, Leo. Nice. Reaping the rewards. And it's like a spiritual download. It's a, um, that communication, just receiving those messages. You've been receiving the messages, right? You've been receiving the communications and you're listening, right? You're listening. You've got major, major downloads coming in. New ideas, new communication, new, new epiphanies. And you've been receiving it. So now it's like you're going to reap the rewards for your patience and move forward into better times. Three of Swords, that timing, love it. Love it for you, Leo. Three days to three weeks. This year, 2024 is going to be a great one for you. I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Virgo. Message for Virgo for today, December 27th, please. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. Times are changing for you, Virgo. Four of Cups, okay. Felt like the outcast, right? Felt like the outcast, felt like you're the, the, you were the third wheel type of thing. We have the chariot dealing with a cancer, possibly, um, or you could have cancer in your chart. Underlying energy is the Hierophant dealing with a possible Taurus, or you could have Taurus in your chart. Wow. Okay, Virgo. <clears throat> I, I see this major change coming in for you, and it's like... Yeah, you you were here, you had people there, and you really didn't feel like you were being seen by everyone, and you're making some changes, right? You're making the changes. You're saying to yourself, I'm bigger and better than this. I am moving on. There's a victory here for you as well. Um, you know, getting, having that knowledge that you are better, having that knowledge that you don't need the others to be happy. I, I just get this whole, you don't need them. You don't need them, Virgo. So don't hold on to that. Because you are stronger than you think, right? You're, you're very much stronger than you think. Hey Virgo, I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Libra, message for Libra for today, December the 27th, please. Ace of Cups, new beginnings in love, feeling very overjoyed. Knave of Wands, dealing with a possible fire sign, young or immature Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could have fire in your chart. And the Temperance, dealing with a possible Sagittarius, or you could have Sagittarius in your chart. Patience, my dear, patience. Burning the candle at all ends of the night, right? We have the Knave of Cups, so dealing with a possible young or immature water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I get this, like very very childish energy here for you libra is very um like picky very just playing games for some of you you feel like someone's playing games with your heart and it's like just just hold out for a little bit longer libra things will show themselves to you things will be revealed in due time um I, I see work going on emotional work i see this very 
it's like there's clouds within and I, I just I get this whole very it, it's some confusion so it, it's like emotional work even dark work shadow work I, I don't know I just shadow work yeah I'm getting shadow work for you here Libra so very be very careful here Libra um, do some cleansing I feel like you're needing to do some cleansing strongly here because it's just too intense it's too intense around you too much going on that that's why I have this this knave of cups here I, definitely somebody doing something got that just really negative energy so the childishness the pranks the just somebody's not being honest even i hope that makes sense for you libra i hope that message helps and thank you for watching scorpio message for scorpio for today december 27th please scorpio six of swords moving on world Brand, brand new beginning. So you're moving on from a situation, Scorpio, right? Moving on to bigger and better things. And making a decision. Do we go here? Do we go there? Do we go up? Do, where do we go? Where, where are you looking to go? Two of Cups for the underlying energy. So this was about a relationship. This is about a relationship for you, right? For some of you... You're moving forward and leaving someone behind. You're making the decision to make things better for yourself. And I feel like it's you're, you're moving in the right direction with that. There is a sense of new beginnings for you without this person. Now, this could be a new relationship that you're moving on with. Like you're leaving one person for another person type of thing. So... Yeah, Scorpio, I just get these really massive changes coming in. But it's bigger and better things coming. Like, this sun in the background is just coming up, and it is bright as heck fire. It is coming up nice and strong with nothing blocking it. So, this new beginning, it's here. And it is just waiting for you to grab on and run with it okay scorpio i hope that message makes sense i hope that helps and thank you for watching sagittarius message for sagittarius for today december 27th please queen of disc dealing with an earth sign towards virgo capricorn or you could have earth in your chart the fool so you're cooking up a new beginning right ace of wands actions there right passion fiery energy underlying energy is the world three out of these four cards is all about new beginnings put the work in sagittarius you're cooking it up you've got it whatever that means for you that new beginning is there and it is beautiful don't give up oh my goodness Sagittarius I just got tongue tied the new beginning is here for you the new year is just right around the corner we have one less than one week away less than one week left of 2023 y'all the new beginning the new year is going to be grand for you I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Capricorn. Message for Capricorn for today, December 27th, please. Three of Disc. Okay, Capricorn. What are you what is holding you back? The Two of Cups. Okay, it's a relationship. And death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could have Scorpio in your chart. Underlying energy. King of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh my goodness. Okay, Capricorn. I, I see you having trouble letting something go or you're having trouble with someone letting you go. That there is an energy of 
something from the past that's holding you back. Could be to do with a relationship. There is a change there. And I, I get this is like, wow. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting the, the, like, just cut through the, the nonsense. Cut through the BS. That past, whatever it was, it's not going to repeat itself for you, Capricorn. You need to let it go. You need to drop whatever you are carrying with you from the past. Because it's, it's not coming back. You don't want it to come back. But you've got this really nice relationship here that you're kind of, you're about to beat it dead. I, if you don't, it's like, be careful. Because I feel like whatever you're trying to save could end up dying on you if you're not careful. Like this relationship that you're in the middle of needs to have more attention, more love, more compassion, more TLC. Someone needs some TLC because a change is coming. But are you going to be happy with the change? Are you going to be happy with the new life? Because I just feel like you're you're just holding on to this idea of what used to be, so that you can, it's stop holding on to the past ideas, stop holding on to the memories because it's not it's not helping you any. Capricorn, I hope that message helps. I hope that makes sense. And thank you for watching. Aquarius, message for Aquarius for today, December twenty seventh, please. Four of Swords. Six of Swords. Okay, so it could be a vacation coming up for you, Aquarius. I, I feel this um, you know, forward movement, better times, and it's calm. It's generous. We have Strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo in your chart. Underlying energy is the emperor dealing with a possible Aries. You could have Aries in your chart. It's also a father figure in your life for some of you. Uh, for some of you, Aquarius, this could be an actual death coming in that there will be need for travel or they're just mo you're moving forward and it's going to be a bit of a rough time for you. Like, there, there's very heavy energy here for you, Aquarius, with this. Um, but I, it's like I get moving on from a death can be very trying. So this may be a death from the past that's still lingering on in your energy. Could be to do with the father figure in your life that was very, just, it was rough for you to deal with. And I just feel like you need to have some time to get through it. Don't try to rush yourself through it, but take it day by day. But do know that better times are coming in. Smoother times, smoother days, like more gentle energy is coming from this uh, change. And it's like, you're, it's going to build your strength. It's going to build your endurance for whatever, you know, building that compassion, building that energy around you, okay? Aquarius, I hope that makes sense. I hope that message helps. And thank you for watching. Pisces, message for Pisces for today, December 27th, please. For Pisces. The King of Wands, along with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could have fire in your chart. The lovers could be dealing with a Gemini, or you could have Gemini in your chart. And the Ten of Swords. Ooh. Underlying energy is a Five of Wands. Okay, so gatherings, communications, being around other people. I see there being a very intense ending to a relationship, Pisces. 
I can't say if this is yours or someone close to you, but I see this like big blow up of energy and it's to do with the relationship. There's an ending there with the relationship. Now this could be your connection with another person that's not a romantic situation, but the lovers is that soulmate. You know, this is that you you have plenty of soulmates in your life. And this is someone you're connected to on a soul level that is coming to an end. There is a major ending there for you, Pisces. And I feel it being very intense, very it's like I'm getting catastrophic here. So whew, Pisces, just know, you know, it this this too shall pass. Don't stress too much about it. It's nothing you did. I, I don't feel like it's something you did. It's just you gotta get it's got something you gotta get through, okay? I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you have a great day and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.